Hi, my name is Joe Tansy, and for the next couple minutes, I would like to discuss with you the WebEx Desktop App to WebEx App Upgrade Procedure. This video will only cover the essential parts of this upgrade, and I will only be covering the minimum recommended steps that admins and users need to take to upgrade and start using the WebEx App for their meetings instead of the Desktop App. If you are not familiar with our WebEx Control Hub platform, we will quickly walk you through it as it is now the command center for all of your WebEx applications. Via the site linking process, we will create a WebEx org for you and link it to your existing WebEx sites. But if your WebEx site has already been linked, then there is no need to do this again, and we are good to go. If you have not yet linked your WebEx site, please stop and do this now. It is a quick process, and the easiest way to do this is to go to help.webex.com and enter the search terms, link your WebEx site to Control Hub, and follow the directions you find in that article. Otherwise, if you log into your WebEx site admin page and browse to the top, you will see a link my site um, information window where you can also start the process. After completion, please come back to this video. Now we have been quite successful in getting the vast majority of our users and their sites to link and link their sites and their users with a WebEx control hub org. But there are still a few exceptions out there and we do list as a requirement for the WebEx app upgrade because the WebEx app needs to be site and user linked with your WebEx site to log in and function for WebEx meetings. Beyond that, we encourage you to take advantage of directory connector, single sign-on, hybrid calendar connector, and to claim and verify your domains, but we don't consider those absolutely required to perform this upgrade. Your users will be presented with the Update Now button after you have selected the appropriate release version in Control Hub or you have reached the standard update day for your WebEx cluster. Optionally, you could package and deploy this installer with a SCCM or JAMF install tool package via your IT admins, but if not, each user will be presented with the Update Now button to upgrade their WebEx desktop app to the WebEx app itself. The first screen shows our logged in user, Allison, about to start the upgrade process. So let's give you a look to see what that looks like. The very first prompt is just some information telling the user what the app is about to do. We're about to install the WebEx app. As the install continues, eventually you will hit the final information prompt that tells the user that very important details such as their personal room link is preserved their meeting join preferences are also preserved, as well as any and all existing scheduled meetings on their calendar are still here. So this is what the product looks like once it's finally installed. So now that we've uh, run through the wizard and we've updated our app, I just want to go through some of the important user preferences and settings and just so you're aware of where they're located and what some of our recommended options are. So of course when you did this upgrade we actually copied everything from your WebEx desktop app already so it should already be configured exactly in the manner that you need. But if not or if something needs to change I just want to go through some of the biggies. So go to the WebEx preferences menu and go to the general tab and starting when your computer starts is a biggie, as well as setting your availability and status. This allows you to align your general availability in your contact card when other users look you up and so that they know what your status is. Um, the landing screen we talked about a bit. This is just the default user landing page in the app. The admins can also set a default and the users can override this if they choose a different one here. For users of WebEx meetings, it probably makes sense although messaging may also make sense as well. You have access to the uh, default audio tab, which device to use. This is very important to go to, like say if you change your headset or um, if you have additional external devices to sync with, as well as the background noise uh, detection parameter and music mode. Uh, video is where you would go to just to make sure that your built-in camera or your external camera are working notifications for all of your message meet and call preferences are set here these are really important as you get using messages more and more you want to make sure that you're got a you have a messaging notification policy that makes sense to you 
You also can modify your light versus dark mode for the app, as well as go into your meetings tab and set your personal room preferences. Of course, this is always available on the WebEx site, but it's also available here. And if you're using a calling in WebEx, you can configure that here as well. Okay, um, and this is the basics as far as configuring the WebEx app, you know, once you've deployed it. And this should get your users uh, understanding where to go uh, to change any of their settings should they need. Now we're up and running with the installed WebEx app, and let's walk through the new scheduling interface. Since we are on the Meeting tab, we see the Scheduling and Personal Room options immediately. If you are not on the Meeting tab, just hit the Calendar Looking icon on the left toolbar where you select from the various major components of the WebEx app, such as Message, Meet, and Call. The three main action buttons are Start a Meeting, Join a Meeting, and Schedule a Meeting. Start a Meeting just launches you into your own personal room and joins it as the host because this is your room. Uh, joining a meeting is one of the many ways to join a WebEx meeting in addition to the various app green button join toast pop-up messages that you get when your meetings are approaching their start time. Here you can also enter a meeting URL or conference ID directly if needed. Scheduling a meeting has a variable that's based on the user preferences for how it behaves. Either you're using the desktop app for scheduling or your Outlook calendar. This is a setting that we copied over during the install, but it's important to know that this toggle that I'm showing you right here between scheduling a meeting using the WebEx app scheduler and Outlook is what controls the behavior of this schedule a meeting button. So if I hit it now, my scheduling is in the WebEx app and all I need to do is create a subject, a date, a time, and invite the participants uh, that I need to bring into the meeting here and off I go. You have also access to additional advanced settings just like you would with the um, other WebEx advanced scheduler tools. And if I hit schedule here, we go ahead and create this meeting and it invites the participants and it shows it on my calendar. Now, if you are a productivity tool such as, such as the vast majority of WebEx users of the WebEx desktop app are, all that functionality is the same. So over here is an Outlook edition with the same user logged in, and I have access to the same calendar as my source of truth. So for instance, these are some upcoming WebEx meetings, and just as before, if I wanted to schedule or update a new meeting or modify one that was already scheduled with productivity tools, all that functionality is, still exists. For instance, this is the productivity tool button to add WebEx to my meeting and I just follow through the wizard and create a meeting. This one is going to require a tracking code just because that's what the site is set for, and I'm on my way. And once I invite my participants, I can just add anyone I need here, add myself, um, date, time, duration, off I go. So this is the, the WebEx meeting itself, of course, has just been created. The WebEx join information was added very quickly to the body of the email, which includes all of the join, um, and, uh, you know, follow methods for all the various devices that might be able to participate in the meeting. And so the, the key takeaway that I'd like you to take from this is that um, productivity tools are still here. We haven't affected it um, and everything still works. All your meetings are copied over, but there's a new um, scheduling method uh, that you can use in the app, but you don't have to. Um, but you do have access to join all your meetings, which we guarantee you will be very convenient for users.